Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Parasite Eve. Last time, we beat the game, but I decided to use my backup save file that I made before the no turning back point to get the junk machine gun. It takes 300 junk, uh, I recommend farming them from the spot I pointed out before at the zoo there, or well, Central Park. Uh, farming them from the birds there, steal from them, run away, steal, run, and so on, and drop off your junk to Wayne, do that over and over and over again for about three and a half hours, that's how long it took me, and eventually you will get 300 junk. Unfortunately, I don't know of a way to check that while you're doing it, so you just gotta keep on doing it until you actually hit it, but anyway, so we give him 300 junk there, and I'm going to take the machine gun because, well, pretty much at this point, that's really the best one to go with. It's the fastest. You can transfer basically anything else you need to the machine gun there. It's got seven slots. That's more than enough for all the good abilities in the game. And when you do that, you get the P90 machine gun. Look at that base power. Oh, holy cow. Yeah, it's more than double the power of the machine gun that I used during the regular story, or the main storyline there. So, let's go put it to use, sh shall we? Okay, we're back at the final battle of uh, day five here. Let's take a look at my machine gun now that I've transferred everything over to it. So, basically, same abilities that I had before, but we have a massive um, a clip on it. And way more attack power there. So I figured, you know what, let's demonstrate the power of the junk machine gun here. And the armor, same as before. So let's do it. I'm going to skip all the dialogue and cutscenes around here. Just cut them out since we already did them before. And by the way, with the uh, junk machine gun there, it, uh... Uh, what, you can get it as early as day four, just so you know. Even if you get 300 junk before then, you, uh, Wayne won't give you the machine gun. Or whatever weapon you choose. Uh, there is that option there that says uh, leave it up to Wayne. And my understanding of the way that works is he'll choose a random type of gun. And then you'll get, well, you'll still get something that's really powerful. But it'll only be like the second most powerful gun that you could possibly get. At least the base stats would reflect that. So, yeah, you might as well just choose what you want, get the machine gun, and be done with it. A part of the reason why I decided to go for it is because I figure, really, by the time I get to the end of X mode, or the New Game Plus, now, yeah, really by the time I get there, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal because the difference in base power between the junk machine gun and the next best machine gun is 30. And I could make that up in a day's worth of bonus points. But, all right, got it. Now we're on to day six. Uh, what I figured I'd do here is, uh, well, we're going to be doing a boss gauntlet, so to speak. Although I'm going to kind of do it a little bit out of order in a way because I'm going to do days five and six and then we'll do one two three four with all the post game bonus points that we get there so that'll make life uh, well, a little easier on the recording there and he didn't even get a chance to get off an attack well he got that one there but Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Some people were telling... Oh, well, a lot of people were telling me. H.G. Bailey, they do have eye transplants in real life. And, I you see, I was confused when they were talking about that in the game here. When they were talking about how Aya got a tran eye transplant from her sister there. Because uh, I didn't quite read the dialogue that uh, precisely. They only transplanted part of her cornea. So I thought they were talking about transplanting the whole eye. And at least my understanding is we can't do that yet. <laughs> so that's why I got confused. Although, to be honest, though, I didn't even know you could transplant a cornea. 
I mean, I know we have, like, laser eye surgery and all that stuff, but I didn't know you could transplant something like that. So, well, there you go. I did not know. I thought about getting laser eye surgery, but it's just too expensive for me. Besides, I already scare people enough with me staring into their souls. In real life, that is. Why do you think I was so good at Magic the Gathering? No. Nah, I wasn't that good. But, yeah, I mean, I don't even have to use Liberate on the final bosses now with the Junk Machine Gun. It's really mostly obscene in a regular new game. Once you get the post-game, it's really not going to be that much better. Honestly, it's not even so much the power, or the attack power, of the Machine Gun that's really that much better. It's more... Uh, what is it? It's really like the bullet clip, so I don't actually have to stop to reload and stuff like that. I mean, I haven't done any, like, calculations, like, on BPS or anything like that. But yeah, you see how I'm going under him? Unlike when I first did the recording, or when I did the first boss fight, trying to beat him. But yeah, you want to get below and behind him if you can when he goes into a corner like that, so he can't hit you with that ability. So... Well, we've almost got him anyway. I think we do. Wow, I'm surprised I managed to avoid that. Without haste. Alright, got him. Okay, I think that's uh, everything for me to show here, so... Now we're gonna go into X mode. I've already shown what happens after you beat the game, so we'll just skip on over there. Uh, after defeating Kazakotl, or... Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> or whatever you call this thing. It's evolving into X mode, but... Okay, so, here we are. Against the alligator boss, so... Shoot the tail. Oh. Or... Not? I thought I was close enough to actually hit the tail. Because if, you, if you're close enough, like right up against his belly there, you could basically shoot through him and hit the tail there. So you don't have to go around the side like you do during a regular game because you don't have the range or you're just not dealing enough damage or you'll take too much damage afterwards. So anyway, yeah, you just shoot him in the head a few times and that ought to be good. Oh. Huh, I'm surprised he survived that first volley there. How is he not dead already? Die! Did... Did they buff the bosses in X mode? Uh, I don't think they did. Why is he not dying? Game? I wonder if that's because I have tranquilizers on my gun and he can't trigger his death AI script or something. And I just gotta wait around here for a little while. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Okay, well that works, so. All right, so we got all that taken care of. Let's go to the end of the day then. And see what prizes we get in X mode for finishing up a day of plot. So anyway, okay, well, once you get to the start of a new day, yeah, you get a whole bunch of bonus points in X mode every time you finish a new day. So that'll really help you out a lot. Uh, I recommend dumping them into your AT rate for now because, well, I'm not going to do any more New Game Pluses. So. Okay, we're at the end of day two here now. And, yeah, you can see my active time there. Yeah, it's way boosted up there now. So, that's what I've been uh, putting them into. I wouldn't go more than... Well, I wouldn't keep on dumping bonus points into your AT rate. Once it gets, like, 60 more than any of your other stats there. Because, really, what I want to do before going into the Chrysler building, which is the bonus dungeon in X mode... I want to get my, well, defeat most of the storyline bosses up to the no turning back point there. And by then, I'll be at about in the mid-30s in my levels there. And 
well, once I do that, then, well, I'll have about 30 levels worth of AT rate, and then I'll have about 60 levels worth of bonus points that I've put in there. So I'll almost have maxed it out at that rate. So I figured, let's do it that way. Oh, we got a lot of uh, defense stat boosts. That'll be nice. So basically, that's my first priority. Get your AT rate up 60 more than the rest of your stats. And then I'm going to be dumping the rest of my uh, bonus points into attack for at least a little while. So really, once I get to the post game, the junk machine gun isn't really going to do me that much good because I'm going to have so many bonus points it won't matter. Oh, did, did I kill her already? Oh, <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Got her! Hooray! Let's head on over to day three, then. See how many bonus points we get this time. Wow, even way more than last time. See, so yeah, I'll probably put a few of those into uh, haste, or, well, it's basically an auto-haste effect, Dumping them into AT rate there. Okay, so we're at the end of day three here. And I've got my AT, 60 more than everything else. So that's pretty good for now. And let's put the rest of my bonus points into attack. Once you get up to a total attack power of 200, maybe a little more than 200, then I think I'd slow down with that a little bit and start putting some bonus points into defense. Because I'm going to be, well, obviously I'm still going to get more bonus points coming up. But also, I'm going to have a whole bunch of tools that I could use on all the weapons that I'm finding throughout the game. And I can tool those bonus points onto my ultimate weapon anyway. Here. But anyway, just go for the center head with first shot. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is one thing I forgot to mention about X mode. When you start up X mode, you start back at level 1. So you still gotta gain your levels. So I would recommend fighting all the monsters you can up to the no turning back point again. Because you're gonna need those levels to get all the way through the Chrysler building again. Well, not again, but you'll need those levels in order to get through there. I mean, the first 40 or so floors are pretty easy. But, uh, still, once you get past that point, it, the difficulty spikes really hard. But anyway, okay, so we are at day four here. And, okay, we got our stats there. That's about as much as I want to put into the attack of my machine gun there. That should be pretty good. And let's fight the Black Widow. I, I mean, uh, Spider Woman. Whatever her boss's name is. You suck. Yeah, with my ultimate armor, you can barely touch me. But yeah, I really do want to put some uh, bonus points into my defense now, so that way I can actually handle some of the enemies towards the end of the uh, Chrysler building there. Attack is important, but defense is too. So that's basically where I put all my bonus points. Uh, AT rate, attack, and defense. That's pretty much all you need. At least from what I saw. I mean, I didn't do any, like, massive mathematical hardcore analysis or anything like that. I mean, I just, you know, threw stuff in there and it's like, oh, okay, that works. And that was it. So, it, it didn't really seem necessary for me to really go into it too much there. But anyway, alright, we get 2,000 bonus points for finishing day 4. You would get even more for uh, finishing day five again, but by the time you get there, well, it's the no turning back point, so we can't really do a whole lot with that. So, oh well. But anyway, well, let me show you where the Chrysler building is. You can access it at as early as day two of X mode, and it's already available there. In fact, one thing you could do if you wanted to make things a little more interesting was like, you could do day one, then do like the first 10 floors of the Chrysler building, then day two of the plot, then the next 10 floors of the Chrysler building, and so on and so forth, if you so chose. But I'm not going to do that. 
I just figured, well, it's probably just easiest just to come here once we've gotten all the levels. So what I'm going to do now is finish up the main storyline up to the no turning back point. I'll have all the levels I need. And then we'll take on the Chrysler building next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.